So hello there. Today marks the beginning of MS Awareness Week. MS, multiple sclerosis, is an autoimmune disease. And as a functional medicine practitioner, I always want to dig down deep and understand why the body has started to attack itself. Just like any other autoimmune disease, this is a attack on me. In this instance, it's attacking the myelin sheath within the brain or spinal cord. It is potentially a progressive disease. And sadly, in the last year, it's a disease that's been very much affected by COVID-19. Many MS patients have had their consultations cancelled, their scans cancelled because of the limitations on the NHS. And this is causing a huge amount of stress because unlike some autoimmune diseases where a blood test or a simple ultrasound can ascertain if there is progression of the disease, MS really does require an MRI scan. And without those scans, patients are very much in the dark as to how their disease is progressing. So when their scans get cancelled because of the limitations, then their stress levels go up. And unfortunately, stress is a really big attributor to disease progression. So a vicious circle is where most of these patients find themselves in the last year. So let's just talk about a couple of things that you could implement for yourself or for a loved one with an MS diagnosis. So trying to reduce inflammation is key. Foods with anti-inflammatory properties are oily fish such as salmon, sardines, mackerel, trout and non-fish sources, flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts. Other anti-inflammatory foods include turmeric and ginger. So trying to include plenty of those in the diet is giving you the opportunity to reduce inflammation. Trying to take out pro-inflammatory foods. Top of the list is sugar and processed foods. But gluten is also a big offender because the protein structure within gluten is very similar to some human tissue and can encourage a attack on self. So if you can, and actually I know it's it's sort of a big dietary change, but nowadays there are so many gluten-free options, but I will always encourage my clients to go naturally gluten-free. So rice is naturally gluten-free, potatoes, although try and opt for sweet potatoes, quinoa, they're all gluten-free options. What else can you do? Try and think about reducing stress, things like meditation, mindfulness, time outside with nature, moving your body, and controlling or looking after your muscle tone in order to have a good ability to hold your core in place to allow for optimal exercise is so important. So depending on your mobility levels, trying to get outside, even if you're using canes to help you to walk, very gentle uh, core stability exercises like yoga and Pilates are also really significant. So let's get the diet as optimal as possible. Let's reduce stress. Let's get you moving. But I will say there is so much more that you can do alongside your medical practitioner to really help you to take control of your disease progression. I work with MS on a weekly basis and my clients do make progress. Everybody is unique and we're never going to promise an uh, outcome that might not be realistic. But what I am going to promise you is we will work with you to dig down deep, find the root cause of the attack and work to control that to the best of our abilities. So let's use this week to raise awareness and to really make a difference. Because if you or your loved one is affected, you know why we need to make a difference. This is a disease that is Un, like under recognized, but yet is so influential on somebody's life. So I'm here to raise awareness. You're here to raise awareness. Let's make a difference. You take care. Speak soon. Bye bye.